Without their bravery and selfless commitment, there would be no healing journeys, no inspiring stories that celebrate the tenacity of the human spirit. Tonight, we honor the courage it takes to face those dangers by honoring firefighters everywhere, and especially our 2018 Valor Award nominees. Fire Department, Captain Gary Byrne, Captain Nick, Nick Dedman, Firefighter Kevin Barnes, and Firefighter Alberto Rodriguez. Responding to a report of heavy smoke with visible fire coming from the basement, crews from Ladder Tower 4 and Engine 8 forced the front door. An attack line was advanced and a search conducted where Firefighter Enriquez came upon a victim lying in the first floor hallway. Carrying the victim outside, firefighter Enriquez noticed the man was not breathing. He immediately started cardiopulmonary resuscitation, reviving the man who was then transported to a local hospital for further evaluation. By following basic fire guard operations of forcible entry and search and rescue, the actions of these firefighters resulted in a coordinated effort that saved the life. Congratulations, Captains Byrne and Degman, and firefighters Barnes and Lopez. Jersey City Fire Department, Firefighter Daniel Pepe and Firefighter Sean O'Connor. On March 30th, 2018, a Box 650 was transmitted for a report of a structure fire with a possible trapped occupant. Upon arrival, there was nothing out of the ordinary showing. However, the responding squad had been there previously for medical calls. They recalled that there was another entrance located in the rear, not visible from the street. As they headed for the second entrance, smoke was observed coming from the building, and while a line was stretched, firefighters O'Connor and Pepe forced entry to begin a search of the apartment. Through dense black smoke and high heat and without protection of a hose line, they located a male victim on the floor next to the bed. Firefighters O'Connor and Pepe carried the man outside and administered first aid until EMS arrived and transported this individual to the Bird Center at St. Barnabas. Their quick actions and knowledge of the building is what saved the man's life. And tonight we recognize firefighters Pepe and O'Connor, Connor's efforts. that firefighter O'Connor also serves as an instructor, instructor for the Burn Center's Mobile Fire Safety House program and is a member of the Jersey City Firefighters Emerald Society Pipes and Drums. Okay, uh, this is a, an award for the Jersey City Fire Department. Is for Captain Simone, Firefighter Christopher Gallagher, Firefighter Sean Manti, and Firefighter Benji Maserat. Um, at noon on Memorial Day, there's a demonstration during Fleet Week where Marine 2, which is the Boston Whaler, boat was patrolling off the Hudson River off between the Statue of Liberty and the uh, during Fleet Week. The crews are two Navy helicopters carrying four Navy SEALs from the Elite Frogs Parachute Team. This is participating in a demonstration for Memorial Day as part of Fleet Week. Unfortunately, the parachute of a 27-year-old SEAL from Colorado failed to open, resulting in a high-velocity entry into the river approximately 50 feet from the fire boat. Captain Simone had firefighter Montserrat head directly to the site to tactically position the fire to protect the seal and the rescuers as we be prepared to enter the water with a member of the U.S. Coast Guard. The seal's body was tangled in the backup chute 
and the sinking of the weight of the water. So the rescuers between the objective was to keep them afloat. Firefighters Mangan and Gallagher next entered the water where they kept the seal's head above the water line as best possible, moved him onto the rescue craft, and then administered cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Mindful of the crowd, including the seal's family and the press, Captain Simone and firefighters Gallagher, Mangan, and Montserrat did their very best in a very difficult situation in an attempt to save the life of this Navy seal. Uh, unfortunately, um, this was not a successful attempt, but the Burn Center recognizes and honors their very, very heroic actions, which are above and beyond the call of duty to the Jersey City firefighters on the stage tonight. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Just want to take this time and thank St. Barnabas, our Chief of the Department, Steve McGill. Deputy Chief Michael Mollier. And because you were to come and thank their wives, you know, I have to thank my wife. So thank you very much. Thank you.